day and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lee Librarian. Thank you for joining me today on my channel. In today's video, I just wanted to talk about some of the pros and cons about moving from a classroom to the library. Um, back, I had taught for six years in a classroom before I became a librarian. And for me, it was something that had been on my mind and my heart for a while. So it was an easy decision for me to make. However, I know some of you guys might be really wondering what are the pros and cons, especially if you haven't worked in a library, you may not know what they are. So I just wanted to share some of those today with you. Now, one of the very first cons that you've probably already thought of is that if you become a librarian in many states, it is required for you to have a master's degree. Now, to get that master's degree, that takes a lot of time and a lot of money. So that may be a big con because it, it takes a while to do that. And usually you're working a full-time job while you're doing that. Maybe you have kids and a family and husband or wife at home, okay? However, a pro that goes along with that is that once you get that higher uh, graduate degree, then you are eligible for higher salaries. Um, no matter where you're at, um, you should be getting paid a little bit more once you have that graduate degree. Another con of being in the library is that you may or may not have job security. That's kind of more up in the air than just the classroom teachers because we'll always need teachers. There will always be openings for them. No, even if you leave one school and go to a different one or move across states, you can get a job as a teacher. However, um, a trend I've, I've noticed in education is that um, for a while, school districts will think it's trendy to get rid of librarians because of course all the kids are on their devices and that's how they're reading, right? But then after a few years of not having a librarian, they see what detriment it is to their students and then they bring them back. Now, I'm not arguing right or wrong. I'm a librarian, so you can probably figure out what side I'm on of that. However, I'm just saying, if you become a librarian, you have less less job security than a classroom teacher. However, a pro of being a librarian is that you have less planning to do. Now, when I was a classroom teacher, I was in elementary school and I had tons of, uh, I had several different subjects to plan for, for each day. In the library, I just make one big plan that kind of covers all the grade levels for what we're gonna do during our library time in the week. And then I also teach one reading class in addition to my library responsibilities. And so I just make the plans for that reading class. So you have a lot less planning to do usually in the library. That's dependent on your school, your district, and the, the area you're serving. Another pro of being in the library is that instead of being with either one subject or one grade level, you get to see all the students in the school. I love this because I get everyone from pre-K all the way to fifth, and I get to know all of them. I know all of their names. They know my name, and honestly, I feel like a rock star every time I walk down the hallway because I'm always getting hollered at and waved at, um, and that's, that's really a good feeling to know that you matter to the little ones. It does. Um, a con of being a librarian is that you really don't have like a set classroom that is only yours. Your library is your shared space. So depending on how your library is set up, you may have to be okay with other people sitting at your desk, um, using your supplies, um, things like that. You have to be okay with. It's all a big shared space. So we can't really have dibs on any one thing. A pro for being in the library is that I know when I was in the classroom and if there was, if, if I had a student that maybe our personalities didn't mesh up or it just was a bad day between us, you still have to spend hours and hours with that child. In the library, if, if a child is having a bad day, if I'm having a bad day, or if we're just not meshing well together, I know that in 30 or 45 minutes, they will be gone and I will have a different class. So that is, is kind of a pro to it. Um, an, another con might be that um, when you're a librarian, you have to track a budget, you have to make orders, you kind of have to see that side of it. So if that's kind of not your thing, then that may be a con because that's another new thing to do. Um, 
a pro of working in the library is that uh, you have a lot of different tasks to do. Um, if, you, if you're working on a huge project and you need to take a break, you have tons of other different things you can be doing. There's all kinds of jobs and tasks to do in the library. And that keeps it from getting boring because I know I've heard it more than once. Oh, you're a librarian. You must sit around and read all day. <laughs> I wish. I wish I had time to do that. Um, I am always busy with something or other, and there are just so many different tasks to do, but it's never boring. Now, there's a couple of things that I wanted to mention that could be a pro or a con, depending on your personality. Um, something that librarians need to be good at and be okay with is being willing to drop things and help others when they need help. That's something I have to do all the time, and I actually thrive on helping others. That makes me feel so useful and helpful when I'm able to do that. Um, another that could be a pro or con is you have to be good with technology. Uh, more and more these days, librarians are being called on to give technology help to fix things because everything is technology driven these days and you're the go-to person. If you're, especially if your um, campus does not have an IT person on their campus, or even if they do, the teachers will still come to you and you've got to be ready for it. Um, one last that could be a pro or con is that you are going to have to wear many hats in that school. I know in my school, we're kind of a smaller private school and I wear so many different hats in this school. However, I find that wearing all those different hats and helping out in so many different areas, that helps me feel like I've got more job security because I know that I am helping out not just in the library, but in this place and this place and this place. And so that helps me feel like I am justifying almost to the school that I should be there and that I am working hard for my salary. Now that doesn't mean it's right that I should have to feel like I justify it, but I do as a librarian, I'm a special, I'm an extra class. And you know, if budgets got real, real tight, I might have to go. So that's one thing that I love doing and it helps me feel more secure that way. So anyways, I hope that you take this into consideration if you're considering becoming a librarian. And if you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments. I would love to start a dialogue with you on this. All right, see you in my next video. Bye.